Good morning, boys and girls. It's Miss Melanie again. And today we're going to be doing the Gingerbread Man Puppet page in your packet. So what you'll need for this is listed right here. You're going to need this page. You're going to need some scissors, some glue, something to color with. That means crayons or colored pencils or markers. You're gonna need the two little brass fasteners that I put in your packet. They look like this. They're also called brads. They look like this. So you should have those in your packet. And then you should also have a popsicle stick because that's how we're gonna hold our puppet. And then some tape because this is not um, easy to glue on. You, it's better to tape it. So the first thing you're going to do is take your sheet like this and you're going to color your gingerbread man and cut him out. So however you think your gingerbread man should look, you can color him that way. And then where it has a little picture of scissors and it has the dotted line, you're going to cut out. You're going to cut each leg out and each arm. So when you're done, it might look something like this. So here's my body and here's my two arms, okay? So that is step number one and two, is color and cut out. Now, this is the fun part. So with your two brads, you, these are called brads, these two little um, metal fasteners. Do you see on your guy where these circles are? Not the buttons, but those little circles. Well, those also line up to the circles on here. So your job, you might need a parent to help you with this so you don't poke yourself. You're going to line up this top one, top circle, the best you can with the bottom circle. Okay? And then you're going to take your brad. And it pokes right through. I'm trying to do this the best I can. Oop, there we go. So you're going to find that circle. And you're going to poke it right through. And luckily the paper is not that thick. And you just kind of poke it until it goes through. Now, you don't want to poke yourself in the finger. But it's not that sharp. It won't hurt too bad. So, see? Mine got through. And then what you have to do is take the two prongs and spread them apart. So it looks like this. It's like they're two wings. Okay? So that's one arm. Then you'll go ahead and you'll do that for the other arm the same exact way. Push it right through. You can have a grown-up help you. Because when you're done... The arm should be attached pretty loose so they can swing freely. So your gingerbread man is able to move his arms. And the more you do it, the easier it will become because that paper, paper will get kind of worn into a circle. Okay? Then, if you want to make him into a running puppet, you can fold his legs. So... You can fold like this. So one leg folds. You can fold your legs up first on the fold line. And then this other fold line, you fold down. But really, any way you want to fold your legs is fine. It's your gingerbread man. But this way, he kind of looks like he's running. See? Run, run as fast as you can. Can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread man. Then, last part, you get your popsicle stick and a piece of tape and um, I have washi tape, but any tape will be fine. And you go ahead and stick it on the back. Ta-da! You can act out your whole story. So there you go, Gingerbread Man Puppet. Have fun making it. I can't wait to see you next week.